Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm not even gonna do a real intro because I just can't, I'm too excited. This has been on the works for the past couple months now, um, before summer started and I am so happy to finally be sharing with you guys. I had the honor and privilege to collaborate on my first palette with Ofra. So I was asked to be part of this influencer project they were like working on for the summer and I am actually the last one. So there was three amazing girls. Of course, I'm one of the amazing girls. <laughs> and they asked me what I wanted to do and I told them like, honestly, I've always wanted to make a palette and it wasn't like I was gonna make my own, you know, like with my own shades and stuff, but being able to get a full range of creativity and placement and they pretty much was like whatever you want to do however you want this palette to look like we can make that happen and i was like that is so crazy there were no rules no guidelines they literally brought over all these different shades and combinations and colors and textures and shimmers and highlighters bronzers blushes and i was just so overwhelmed because i literally wanted to use them all but i created a palette that every single shadow was going to be put to use for many reasons i didn't want to make a palette that had like all these crazy colors before i just keep talking about the whole like aesthetic of the palette why well, i just show you guys what it looks like so here is what it looks like with the ofra sleeve in the back it says violin beauty mix palette so i made this palette with my favorite shades from ofra right here we have the layout of the palette as well the pan sizes and everything and also the colors that was really important for me um for you guys to see the color that way if you guys do run out this is a refillable palette you can either add the same shadow again or if you want to try a new one you can do that so i wanted to make a palette that not only was going to be great palette for an everyday use and for like all areas of your face i wanted to create a palette you guys can keep adding on as you keep using the shades so let's go ahead and open this up this is actually the new palette that i got because mine is beat up like guys i've been using this palette for months okay and not once did it leak or nothing like i literally just told like my friends and family like this upcoming week because you know how family is they be posting stuff although don't post nothing yet so um i literally took this palette with me everywhere i went and i've been using it all the time after i show you how pretty it looks i'm gonna show you how mine looks like so this is the palette oh my god i'm gonna open it for you guys wow guys she is cute she is here to stay and slay the day so as you guys see this is the bb right here and it comes with a sleeve so when you open the sleeve every eyeshadow is perfectly placed and press you guys see like all the different colors let's go ahead and start with the aesthetic of the palette i wanted to include eyeshadows highlighters and at least one bronzer because i feel like for an everyday palette especially a palette on the go knowing that most of you guys don't like having a lot of palettes laying around so i wanted this to be a palette that you can leave at your vanity and just pick up for any occasion or if you're even in a rush you can just pick this out and now you have everything you need to work with five of them being matte eyeshadows and three of them being more shimmer shadows i also included three blushes for you guys i included a bronzer which is right here i had to include two highlighters because you guys saw my obsession with highlighters so i included odreo dry which is one of their best sellers and actually the one i'm wearing right now is one of my favorite ones ever and i wanted to add a highlighter color wheel for all different tones and skin tones that would look really pretty with that so let's go ahead and get to swatching okay guys so i'm gonna show you guys now what my palette looks like because it is a complete mess this is it it's kind of dirty you can't see on the camera which is great but on the inside girl like you see how dusty it is it has been through it so first we're gonna start with the eyeshadows first i'm gonna go ahead and swatch bohemian which is a shimmery bronze brown color this is what it looks like on my finger i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right now I had to include a bronzy brown. I feel like bronzy browns go well not only for like any type of eye look, also eye color. I am so inclined to browns, oranges, and just warm tones. You guys know I love my warm tones. And this is such a basic eyeshadow for a bronzy look that you can apply all over the crease, on the outside outer corner, or even like on the crease, or even like on your lash line. It is a pretty everyday shade that you can use for more natural and also glam looks. Up next, we're 
going to be swatching fire orange. You guys know how much I love my fiery reds, my bright orange, and just really vibrant warm tones. I needed an orange color for my crease because I feel like it makes your look pop even more so it can make it a little bit more dramatic. It could give it a hint of color if you're not really like inclined to wear like reds and pinks and purples and like yellows and you know greens then i feel like an orange is a color that you can mix with browns and it looks a little bit more natural but still like a little bit extra this is what it looks like on my finger let's go ahead and swatch right next to it look at how intense and beautiful that orange is i actually have a little bit of my crease today as you guys can see like it doesn't even look like orange because i apply the slightest amount but it still brings out a little bit of warmness and just like a little bit of like pop to your eyeshadow so i totally totally love the shade and expect me to say that about all the other shades too up next we have the shade called syrup i love it because it is such a nice toned down golden color it's not completely golden it's not too yellow but it has a little bit of that like soft caramel brown gold look like syrup this one is also a shimmer shade i feel like this eyeshadow as well we look so pretty as a highlighter on darker skin tones. Let's go ahead and swatch her. Oh my God. I honestly, oh, I kind of ruined that one. This is she. She is so cute, so pretty. Again, really nice and vibrant. I actually have this shade on my lid today. I put it right in the center and then I buffed it out a little bit to the outer corner. And this is such a natural color that you guys can play around literally with any single look. It'll look so pretty. Now I had to include a gold true shade. If you guys you guys know me i love my gold i love my golden tones everything gold so i had to include a shade similar to this one which is called gold plain and simple auto again and this is the last shimmer shade from the palette meeting it's like a bright bright like a diamond let's swatch her next to her sis Wow, you guys see the difference in tones how this one has more of a syrupy caramel feel and this one has more like a true 24 karat gold look to it They're still in the same family, but they definitely have different tones So you can even apply this in the inner corner and then apply syrup like right in the middle And then you can even apply bohemian in the outer corner to create like a gradient bronzy golden look so i will be doing tutorials for you guys but i wanted to just like dedicate one video talking about the eyeshadow palette and all the colors and swatching it and you know all that good stuff of course i had to throw in here a beautiful transition crease color that i feel like will look so good on every skin tone and not only that i wanted to make sure that it wasn't too bright for fair skin tones and it wasn't too chalky or like not noticeable on darker skin tones because you know I am more like in the medium range so I was really careful with my selections because I wanted to make sure that everybody that got this palette would look absolutely amazing and had no complaints and felt like the eyeshadows were showing up on their eyelids so they know that you're welcome here we have the shade Country Road I love it, it is like a pastel soft brown color I really like let me do a little bit more because I kind of did it like not like symmetrically as you guys can see it is a beautiful soft brown with a little hint of orange for the crease I like to apply this shade all over the eye sometimes when like I'm in a rush I apply some liner some mascara no mascara mascara, lashes, no lashes, um, and, and then I, I might even mix it up with the bronzer, which I'm going to show you guys. So this is like an all-over lid color that's going to give you some color, but still keep it really nice and natural. And then the next shade in this eyeshadow category at the top, I went ahead and chose the shade called Buttercup. Buttercup because I wanted a soft matte buttercup color that you could apply to your brow bone to your inner corner if you're not that person that likes shimmer like i know like more mature skin um shimmer doesn't look good on their eyes if you have wrinkly eyelids so i wanted to give you an option for an intense inner corner brow bone glow or more mature or even more like classic like matte feel that also looks really pretty or even if you don't want to apply shimmer to your eyelid you can also apply this to brighten up that area so right here is buttercup as you guys can see, it is a night clean, bright shade that you guys can literally use for anything. And even like under the eyes, if you want a little bit more brightness, um, it was really similar to like a banana shade that I wanted to put in here, like a banana like under eye pan. But I wanted to use it for like blushes, so I had to make an executive decision. And I found this color that they had that could also be applied under the under eyes to make it more bright and awake. So I'm gonna be using, like I said, the shadows in tutorials so you guys can see how I use each and every one of them, not only for one use, but for multiple uses. So 
that is it with the eyeshadows on the top palette on the top part I included the darker ones at the bottom because I wanted it to be like more aesthetic That's just how my brain works So I included a black black eyeshadow because I feel like a lot of palettes now don't have black and for me Black is such a necessity like for me right now I created this smoked out wing with black because I just need it I always like to blur out my liner at the ends because it's just the look that I always go for and I tend to always have to go to the like two to three different palettes to create the look that I want or to even find a nice black so I had to throw this one in here which is actually called triple black because it is that intense and not only guys is it like a matte black it has a little bit tiny of like glisten that is so pretty I love using black to set my eyeliner smoke out my upper and lower um, lash lines and even to apply like into the waterline it is such an amazing like little trick that I love to use well, this is looking so aesthetic. Like I have not swatched it like this and I'm looking at it and I'm like even tear up because it's so beautiful. Up next we have this shade Godiva and I was like, ooh, that sounds fancy and expensive. I wanted it just like a dark brown, but I didn't want to be limited to just dark brown. I wanted it to have a little bit of a tint. So I figured what color goes good with brown, like brown eyes. And I thought about purple looks great with brown eyes. So I feel like it has a brown, like a chocolate brown base, but with a little bit of purple in it, which makes it like a purpley brown, but it tends to be more on the darker brown side, if that makes any sense. Look at how pigmented she is. Like she's here to slay. Like she knows she cute. She knows she, she knows she got it going on more than his sisters. So many people that I know are actually like terrified or afraid of blushes. And I'm just like, why? Like blush literally completes the whole look. So I included shades in here that A, all skin tones, B, rosy, comfortable shades that are not too bright or too dark. So more natural shades that are gonna match everybody. First one we're gonna be swatching is the color Charm. I like this one because it's more of a nudie blush shade. So here we have Charm. You guys see it's more of a natural, more like toned down blush. It's not as pigmented. I absolutely love this when I want like more of a natural look. Like I don't wanna look too flush. Like if I'm doing like daytime makeup and I don't need my makeup to stand out too much, I'll probably go in with this blush shade right here up next we have a little one that she's a little bit cuter she's like a little bit on the barbie side her name is b29 look at how pigmented honestly guys i'm not a fan of like pink blushes but this is the only pink blush that i can get away with using because when i apply it into my skin it kind of like neutralizes and it's not as pink i like it because it has a little bit more of like red in it so it just gives you like the pretty flush color and you can even mix your blushes i do that as well up next we have winter rose glow I have to say, Winter Rose Glow is my favorite one because I feel like it's these two together. If it had a baby, it would be this one. She still got a little bit of nude, but a little bit of pink, but she's still really soft and delicate. Now, she is more on the like mauve side of things. She's a little bit more like toned down. So you got nude, bright, and like a neutral, cool tone blush shade. I think these three sisters are gonna get along just well next to each other in the palace. Like I said, I usually mix them all together. Now that we're done with the blushes, let's swatch the first highlighter of the palette because you know guys, I'm extra, I'm all about the glow. So I had to include Rodeo Dry. Just look at it swatch on my finger. Like how satisfying is this? Look at this, mm -mm. She has been waiting patiently to be swatched. She's such a good girl. Oh my goodness. Here's a close up of like all the swatches. Rodeo Dry. Drive. Take me there, please. This is such a stunning highlighter shade. It is actually their bestseller for many reasons, but I love it because it's so vibrant. I've given pretty much all my friends Rodeo Drives and they absolutely love it. And I love it so much. Even Jason, that's like, that's my favorite highlighter that you wear. Like when we in the car, he's like, is that Rodeo? I say, yeah. He's like, okay, nothing else. <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. So I really, really love this highlighter shade. I had to include it in here. Now, up next, we have the color wheel, which is called Beverly Hills. Another reason why I was inclined to these shades is because of the names. I absolutely love California. And it just reminds me of California. And I just think about the California sun and it just makes me like really happy. As you can see, it has five. Let me see if I can actually take it out of the palette for you guys. That is the great thing about this even if you guys want to get this as like a makeup starter kit for like your freelance kit for brides this is a great bridal makeup palette just to let you guys know so here is the color wheel we have a white we have a pink with gold true gold white gold and then a little bit of a purple with a pink situation going on you guys can wear them separately or mix them together i usually like mix them together but usually what i'll do is i'll take like the bottom three and apply it as once and it looks so good. So I went ahead and applied them here on my hand 
so that you guys can see how beautiful and reflective they all look and feel free to use them all together like i said before and then last but certain to lead really <laughs> last but not least the bronzer bronzer to me is like part of who i am i have to wear bronzer i love me a good warm glowy bronzer that's what i've been going for for like the past couple of months and their americano bronzer has my heart like not only is this bronzer great for your face it is an amazing bronzer to apply like literally all over your body as well like if you're wearing like a top you can apply this like on your shoulders for a little bit extra glow to your chest your legs anything look at how pretty it is and it has like a subtle glow to it i actually have it on right now so it kind of blends in with the rodeo drive highlighter as you guys see the situation right here i'm a little misty i'm a little oily but Actually, makeup sometimes looks better when it's like, cooking for a little longer. So as you guys can see, Americano and Rodeo are like such a perfect combination. And if you guys have been looking for a new bronzer, you're going to really like this one. <laughs> okay, guys. So that was all the swatches for the palette. Now let's talk about pricing. I'm so happy that the price is somewhere that like I'm okay with and that I would actually buy it myself. You're getting three blushes. You're getting eight eyeshadows, two highlighters and one bronzer the price of it is gonna be an absolutely steal so originally a palette like this at the ofra website will cost you 99 dollars Así mismo como lo escuchan. Because, I mean, it is a big palette and you're getting like a lot of stuff. So if you add everything up, it still doesn't come up to 100 because if you get two blushes, you'll be spending like 40 to 50 dollars minimum. <laughs> so I still not a bad price, pero for this collaboration, they dropped down their price to $59, which is a really good discount. Pero, pero, it gets better. So you guys know I'm an affiliate with Ofra, and I thought it was really cool that they let me use my discount code to save you guys even more money. Like, I love how they're just really, like, wanting to help influencers get out their product and like let us get it out for you guys and they just want people to try Ofra from their favorite influencers to try your your favorite influencers favorite products from Ofra and the fact that they were willing to do that I was like you guys are you guys are good people, you know? As you guys know, I'm an affiliate with Ofra and my code is valid and it saves you guys 20% of any product or your entire purchase. So the price being $59 with the 20% off, it drops on the palette to $48, which I think is the best I could have done. Like they, it is actually really generous on their part, um, considering how expensive makeup can be and the fact that you're getting so many different types of products makeup for your face all in one i think it's a great deal and you guys can still save some money it's in my code so i think that was pretty amazing so thank you oprah for doing that i really appreciate it so that is a price this has been one of the things that i've done that i am actually super proud of and i stand behind it 100 percent i love everything that went into making this palette being able to build a relationship with the oprah team has been amazing i consider them like family we've shared a lot of experiences together and for me to grow this little family on YouTube, well, now it's getting like, you know, we're, we're growing, we're getting, we, we're getting real cute. Being able to grow with you guys and be able to do this is something that like, I mean, sounds so cliche, but like I never dreamed of, like I never did. Like I tried dreaming of this stuff and I was like, it's not happening, but it's happening. This is the beginning of something great. And I, I'm just really excited where I'm, I'm in a good place and I get to give back to you guys something that I created because you guys inspire me to pursue my dreams and my goals and being able to give back to you guys a palette made with love with another brand. It's something that like I do not take for granted and I'm just so thankful and blessed that I'm even able to say like, hey, of Valor and Beauty. You guys rock, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the love and support, which helps me get opportunities like this one. And if you guys get the palette, I freaking cannot wait to see your looks, see your swatches, see them in your tutorials. Let me know if you guys get it, tag me, DM me. I will be more than happy to share all of your looks on my Instagram. So yeah, guys, I am really, really, really excited. So you guys can go ahead, chop the palette down below. I have a link. Also, don't forget to use the code because if you're gonna use the code, you're gonna pay full price. And I'm sure you don't wanna do that. So use my code valley at checkout save 20 percent and let me know if you guys got it and i'm just so 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 excited i'm not gonna keep rambling on stay tuned for more tutorials on my instagram at gtv lives and also here on my youtube channel using the palette that is it guys i love you so much thank you for everything i'm so 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 excited about this and i cannot wait to see you guys get this palette ah! love you guys muchos besitos y abrazos bye